Today we're going to upgrade the memory on a Latitude D620. First step is remove the battery. Set it aside. Now there are two slots on a D620 and same goes uh, to a D630. They're nearly identical models. The first one is located under this memory cover right here. Now there's one screw, Phillips. You just pop that out. Um, it's a little bit of a pain. There we go. Now the module's right here. All you gotta do is there's two little retaining mechanisms. Slide it out. Done. Now this is DIM B. Uh, DIM A is actually underneath the keyboard. So to put it back in, you go in at an angle push it down, you're done. That one's a piece of cake. The other one requires a little more work to get to, but it's still not incredibly difficult. So you need to pop this bezel off. Use a flathead screwdriver on this end right here. And pry the bezel cover over. Now you'll need your small Phillips. There are three screws, one here, one here, and one here. Remove those screws from it. Try not to lose the screws inside the laptop if you can. I'm trying to get this last screw out. There, got it. Now this side on this one comes out pretty easy, but you kind of have to go at an angle, kind of wiggle it out there, be gentle with it. Now you'll notice this module is located right here uh, in this area. To pop this one out, same thing, done, out. Slide it back in, line it up, push it down. Put your keyboard back in. Line up the bottom ends and it doesn't always want to go. You may have to give it a slight bend. You don't, you don't want to bend it too much because you'll end up damaging it, but there. Now put your three screws back in. Once your screws are in, line up this end first, right here. It'll snap in, make sure it's secure here. Now work your way across from left to right. Snapping little clips in. Don't force it, be gentle. Kind of how to wiggle it in. And finally put this end in. Put the battery back in. Now if you did everything right, and you were using the right type of memory, it should turn back on, no problems. Now the D620 uses a 667 megahertz memory. Um, I believe the D630 is either 667 or 800, so you might have to look that up. I don't know off the top of my head, but it should be pretty easy to find if you go to one of those memory selector websites that will tell you what you need. So that's all there is to it to make your system a little bit quicker. Have a good one.